Hello and welcome back to Freedom Seekers. Today is an absolutely glorious day. This is all what we are about. This is why we live in a caravan, why we live on site, why we live the life we live and we love this life, especially in the summer. It's a complete bliss. So today is a really happy day, really exciting day because I'm going to show you our collection of camping chairs <laughs> so yeah my name is Kat and I collect camping chairs you may think how many camping chairs do people need not more not less than six we have six different camping chairs here six different types and whenever we are visited by friends or we meet someone on the site and whether they travel in a van they do touring in a caravan or they sleep in a tent everyone is always excited about camping chairs and yeah there are different types I'm not sure if there is an ideal camping chair there. Some of these come pretty close. So if you are interested in the best camping chair for you and your family, stay tuned. Leave me thumbs up. Let me know what is your favorite type of camping chair. And let's today assess those different chairs. I will tell you about uh, what I love about them, what I hate about them. And together we'll try to answer the question, is there an ideal camping chair? Let's dive in. Yes, we do have six different types of camping chairs and we use them for different occasions, plus of course the bed for the dog. So you may be amazed, oh my goodness, where do they keep them? Why on earth do they need so many? Well, we need all of them, we use all of them for different occasions. And uh, I have to say, we only bought two out of six here. Most of them were donated to us or gifted. So um, this is actually to explain that we are not completely bonkers about buying camping chairs and about buying camping gear. But it is amazing that each of them has their use, each of them has their function, each of them is ideal for something else and for a different situation. So let's start with the smallest one. So this is actually a stool and I got it as a gift from my friends when I was leaving my work years ago when we decided to ditch everything and move into a motorhome. So I got this little stool five years ago and we took it on our trip around Europe in a motorhome. It was perfect in a motorhome because it's small, it's compact, it doesn't take much space and it's very functional because you can sit on it. You can also use it for raising bowls for your dog. It's really, really multifunctional. If you have a bigger dog and you want to raise the bowl for them so they don't have to lean all the way down to the floor, it is perfect, isn't it, Diesel? So it is a perfect height for our Diesel. Of course, you can sit on it too. Yeah, you want to be in the video. Yeah, go and relax, dog. Do you love our Diesel? Say hi to Diesel in the comments, isn't he adorable? Of course, you can sit on it as well. It is waterproof, it is small, it is portable, you can use it inside or outside. I spent quite a lot of hours sitting on it uh, on the side of the road when our van broke down. Yes, some happy memories from different countries uh, with this stall. Yes, you can, you can sit on it, but let's be honest, it's small, it's tiny, you have to uh, keep your knees close to yourself. <laughs> There is no rest for the back, there is no armrest, it's not very comfortable. Yeah, you can sit on it for maybe 15 minutes. Something like this, it's much more comfortable. When we were setting off on our camper trip around Europe, we thought that we don't have space for chairs or loungers. We didn't take any with us apart from this little stool. And our thinking was, okay, one of us will sit on this and the other one will sit on the step, of the, on the motorhome step. After a few weeks and after thinking, do we need them? Maybe we don't. Do we have space for chairs? Is it worth, worth it? Is, it? is it worth the money? Is it worth the space? Which was obviously very, very limited. Just have a look at our old motorhome. We decided that, yeah, we do need camping chairs, some sort of chairs. So we, we survived without chairs all the way to Spain. And in Spain, we bought these little babies. So when we got to Murcia in Spain and we stopped at an amazing camper stop by Ikea, uh, there was the castle next to it. And in the fishing section, we bought two camping chairs or actually fishing chairs like that. They didn't look like normal, 
camping chairs you find in supermarkets all over the place however they have one lovely feature they don't have a bag but are we the only ones who lose camping chairs bags <laughs> let me know in the comments so these don't have a bag as i said earlier but they fold very easily they are lightweight there is a strap and a bit of velcro to to keep them folded keep them small and look there is this strap so this is lovely this is perfect when you're out and about you want to take them to the beach you just fold them the strap is there no faffing with any loose parts this is actually attached to the chair and this is genius this is perfect so we use those chairs when we go to the beach when we want to see the sunset watch the sunset and you want to be comfortable because still these, these little light babies are very, very comfortable and they are perfect for enjoying the sunset out and about. They don't have a drink holder, shame, but the strap and the little strap with Velcro for fastening them, this is a really big bonus and they are quite comfortable. However, they don't have armrests, but Thanks to that, they are quite light, very light, very lightweight. So yeah, we've been using them for five years. They are still strong, very pleased with our purchase. Thank you very much, Decathlon Murcia. Very happy with this purchase, very strong, very high quality, really pleased, really pleased with our little fishing chairs. You may think that this choice is absolutely ridiculous. Well, it is really for camping. But when you live in a caravan full time, just like we do, you may need some proper chairs. These are the chairs which we keep in the awning and they are here. We don't take them outside. These are our indoor chairs. So the gray is here and normally white is here. And the reason we keep those chairs is that sometimes we may have a larger visitor, someone who's a bit heavier than us. And let's face it, someone who's much bigger than me will not sit comfortably on something like this, like this or like this. So sorry, <laughs> sorry to our visitors, but this is officially our large person chair. It's sturdy, it's quite heavy, it is comfortable, it is useless outside, it's not waterproof but it is comfortable and sometimes you just need a bit something a bit uh, robust for our larger guests i hope no one will get offended by this comment but this is just a simple fact of life these are not designed for large people full stop right the next chair is embrace chair that's what it's called so i have to say that the biggest advantage of this one it's comfort it is super comfortable it's soft it really hugs you, this chair. It, you have armrests. It's really nice, really nice. Very comfortable. You can lean a little bit and relax. So on the comfort side, yes, very good choice. However, we got this one from a friend. They came camping and by the time they finished their trip here, uh, the armrest snapped. So the chair is still usable, but it has a damage. And believe it or not, I have a bag here for this chair. It still has a tag. It still has a tag on it. That means it's new. It's pretty new. I think they bought it this year, had one trip with it. And I believe what happened, someone sat here on the side because otherwise the chair seems robust and of high quality. I bet it wasn't cheap either. It has a damage here, I will show you, but uh, as a, you know, as a purchase, as a type of camping chair, I can recommend this one because it's really, really super soft, super comfy. Don't sit on armrests, people, and your chair will serve you many, many happy seasons. So I will show you the damage now. So it is lovely, very comfortable, very nice, but look at that. Look what happened here. The, one of the rods snapped, so we fixed it with silver tape. For the purpose of this video, I unwrapped it to show you the damage. Yeah, but I believe that if you were using the chair properly, my friends, you would still have it. So this one also has straps, which help you with folding. It folds quite easily. So there is one strap here. It's a bit larger than the previous chair. So I believe... Oh, 
This goes all the way here to keep it all tight. Not as easy as the previous one, really, but possible. With a bit of strength and dedication, you can strap it. Okay, and then you have a bag. <laughs> Let's see how easy it is to put it back in the bag. I personally, personally don't like those bags because, because it, well, it takes time to put them back in a bag and it's easy to lose the bags. But let's just check together how easy it is to put this chair back in the bag. Oh, this is Van Gogh, by the way. Let me know if you have, have this chair, maybe all your friends have, and how long they lasted. Because I think someone was just stupid and, you know, they shouldn't be sitting on it. There is no way it could snap if it was used correctly. So let me know what's, what your thoughts are on Van Gogh Embrace chair. As I said, I do like it. However, it's a bit bulky, a bit big. Oh, I don't have... I managed to <laughs> get rid of this, so I don't have anything to pull it. But if you compare the size of this after folding with my little baby from the Cathlon, Oh my goodness, this is huge. Huge and quite heavy. This little beauty, look, one move. One hand. Hmm, so on the size front, let's have a good look. Yeah, let's compare those two, look. Oh, I got tired. <laughs> Slightly out of breath after folding Van Gogh Embrace. But compare the My Little Baby from the Cathlon and the Big Beast from Van Gogh. Yeah, the bigger one is much more comfortable, but much more heavier and bigger. So if you have limited space, if you travel in a motorhome, camper van or a small caravan, you always have too much stuff, don't you? So you have to be careful and very, very, uh, you know, take time and consider different aspects before you buy a camping chair. Yeah, so comfort versus size and weight. I'm filming this alone, so some angles may be a bit weird. So apologies for that. I'm trying to do a good job here, but bear in mind there's no camera operator. So thinking about a perfect camping chair, this is one of my favorites. Yes, this is Van Gogh, another chair from Van Gogh. Uh, very comfortable and I use it when we eat because it's perfect uh, to put by the table because the the seat is flat you, you are not collapsed you are not slouching in the chair so when I eat I like to be straight I like to have good support and it's not bulky it's not too big you don't have anything under your legs which makes it perfect for eating just have a look let's compare those two and uh, I will explain why I use this one when I eat. <laughs> yes, yeah, so this is my, my preferred dining, dining chair. Because I can get quite close to the table. Yeah, even closer. Whew. And I'm really comfortable. I'm ready for a meal. And uh, I like it that my my bottom here and my ties are straight. Uh, I, I don't collapse in my chair. I've got armrests. If I'm, you know, drinking, need to rest my arm. It's really good, really nice, really nice for eating. Compare it with a lounger. <laughs> it's not so easy with this one because it's bigger. It's uh, la longer. And I have these armrests here, which can you hear the goats? <laughs> yeah, 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 this one is big, this one is bulky. Oh, I can't get in. I can't get close enough to the table. Maybe if Marek was here and he slided it for me, it would work. But this arm rest, uh, well, this leg rest actually is a problem when you want to sit by the table. And I think this is the dilemma most of people have, whether they want a chair to relax in a lounger or they want a chair which is good for eating which can be used by the table 
and I think this uh, orange one comes close, comes pretty close really to an ideal chair for both eating and relaxing. This one is definitely for relaxing, it's just too big to move close to the table. And then how many of them would you fit around the table if you have guests? So this one is definitely for reading books, for sunbathing, for drinking coffee, not for eating by the table. On the other hand, this chair is quite universal because uh, once you've finished eating, you can lift the, the armrests and relax, lay back. Nice. This one is pretty close to an ideal chair according to me. Let me know what you think. By the way, I hope I pronounced the name correctly. Is it Van Gogh? If not, correct me please in the comments. I hope it is Van Gogh. I've been saying Van Gogh for all the film today. Let's move on. So this is a pretty good offering as a camping chair. Really good, really practical, good for uh, eating, good for relaxing, quite small when you fold it. However, mm, it is all over the place. There are no straps to secure them. They will take more space in your van than the other two. Oh, this one. I think this one is the most ridiculous when it comes to storage. The Embrace chair will be the bulkiest, uh, irregular, the heaviest, the biggest. So yeah, very comfortable, but horrible to storage, horrible to fit with other stuff in a small space. Yeah, this one is quite good. It can lay flat in your alcove or on the floor. This one is not too bad for storage. And obviously the lounger, <laughs> the lounger is for gardens, for situations like this, when you just want to chill and relax. Here it is, the ultimate comfort. It's chair number six, ultimate comfort and a horror to store. However, we keep these chairs, we have two of them, we keep them outside. With time they do get rusty, uh, but they will last at least two seasons, even if they are stored outside. So this is a chair designed to relax. You could even sleep in it, I believe. It is big, it is a bit heavy, a bit bulky, but you can, you can really, really rest on it look at that further 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 all the way you're almost vertical oh yeah this is good this leg rest which is a problem when you are eating is perfect when you just want to chill yeah so that's it ladies and gentlemen this was chair number six do you agree with me that there is no perfect camping chair and that you actually need different, six different chairs to satisfy all needs and to be ready to any situation and all circumstances life can throw at you? <laughs> what do you think? Would you keep six different types of chairs just like me or not? Congratulations to everyone who stayed till the end of this video. Let me know in the comments if that's you. So that's it from me. These were my reflections about all our chairs we have here. Uh, yeah, if you are interested in full-time living in a caravan, uh, if you have any questions about what it's like to live in a caravan full-time and live and work on a caravan in sight, please ask a question in the comments. If you haven't done it yet, subscribe to our channel, help us grow. We are hoping to achieve 500 subscribers because the moment we've done it, we will be able to communicate with you through the community page on YouTube. So we will be able to uh, share messages, videos and photos with you directly on YouTube. So that will be super exciting. So please subscribe if you like my little chat about uh, chairs. And if you are curious about living in a caravan and traveling in a motorhome, check our other videos. Uh, stay tuned and I hope you will be back. See you in the next video and have a lovely day. Let me know what chairs you use when you go camping, uh, whether you live in a caravan or travel, whether you are thinking about this lifestyle. It's getting more and more popular. Yay, bring it on. See you in the next video. May the sun shine upon you. Take care, freedom seekers. Bye-bye.